Hey friends, this is Noah from Corporate Streams. Today I'm gonna to be going through and rebuilding my desk. I had a 42 inch television as my main display for a long time. It's worked really well over the years, but I've decided to go up to an 8K display. This is a 55 inch display from Samsung that I'm gonna be upgrading to. So the first thing you gotta do is tear down the existing setup. So behind the television, I had a power strip that I am going to move underneath. I'm also gonna try my best to not have as much stuff on top of the desk and stay better organized. Lots of components and things that have built up on my desk over the years. So just kind of going through those, taking them down one at a time. I'm also gonna be upgrading my network switch from an eight port to a 16 port. When I initially ran the cable from my main network switch to the sub switch, I had a lot of extra cable. So I'm also gonna make a custom one here. You'll see me measuring out the space to make sure that I center the TV properly and I get a feel for how much space I have with the TV and clearances and all that. You'll also see that I'm gonna rerun the lighting. I'm gonna add a power strip to the bottom of this desk. There's already one down there, but I'm gonna add a second one as well. Underneath my desk, I've built a little riser. It's made out of half inch square tubing and some planks of wood that I've cut down and glued together. And then that is also screwed into that metal frame that holds it all together. So underneath I'm tucking cables against the wall so that they are out of the way of the platform that I use for my feet. There is a teleprompter there and I do have to route some cables around the back side of that. I'm also rebuilding the ethernet cable that goes between my main switch and the sub switch. I'm gonna be moving the switch from behind the TV to underneath the desk. You'll see I busted out a laptop here to shut down the server because I do have a server that needs to get repatched. And because I'm gonna be unplugging it, I need to shut it down. I did forget to shut this down once and I unplugged it and lost some data. Thankfully it was all backed up on the second server. In this part of the build, I'm working on the TV mount. This is going to have to be a new mount because it's larger. It is a low profile mount and it's gonna hang really close to that wall. And that low profile is gonna give me back some space. The wall that I'm drilling into is a stucco wall. It's not just drywall. So it's actually a little bit thicker and heavier than a traditional wall. The pros and cons of that, uh, the pros is it's nice and heavy duty, but the con is that it takes a little bit more effort to drill into. I'm also gonna be using some heavy duty anchors or bolts, not just drywall anchors or screwing into studs. And these four drywall anchors are what's gonna hold it all together. I had to get up on the desk to get the TV nice and close and mounted. And then I realized that this top crossbar, which is just a two by four and a one by two screwed together was gonna be in the way. So I had to pop up there and adjust that bar. I wasn't hundred percent sure if it was all going to fit, but when I got up there and readjusted it, it worked like a charm. I do have a stand sit desk. Most of the time I do sit at a higher position. I went ahead and set out all of the top shelf items that I had. These are kind of just knickknacks that I've gathered from over the years, whether it was from specific projects or a client or a gift from one of my employees. That's kind of what this shelf has been for. It's just been a bunch of knickknacks that have gathered up over time. Now I'm focused on the cables that go directly to my Mac Studio. I max out the six Thunderbolt ports and I actually have a Thunderbolt hub as well connected to this device. There's a card reader that has four SD slots. And then I also have an ATEM Mini Pro sitting on top of that as well. Lots of little components here and there. That's why you'll see underneath the desk, I have two power strips. I also have a UPS that everything's plugged into. So one thing connects to the next and it's really helpful. Underneath the desk, you'll see the second power strip being added. Obviously there's a lot of ports here and I am not running high voltage stuff through these ports. It's just a lot of little components that add up, of course. Each cable that I have has a cable tie. That is something I am definitely very picky about and I try to keep my cables as organized as possible. I'm gonna move up to the top of the desk where I have a new extra, extra large mouse pad that I'm gonna lay out here. And we've got picture, television's working here. I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes going through and kind of calibrating to the best of my abilities. That's gonna do it for this build. Thanks for watching, thanks for checking it out, and we hope to see you in the next one.